In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to realistically add shadows in a person's face in Adobe Photoshop. Sometimes, you may want to add shadows to your model for artistic purpose. It could be a leaf, hand, or anything. In this tutorial, we are going to do that in Photoshop. We'll be using this photo for today's tutorial. First, we need to make the areas darker where we want the shadows to be placed. Click the adjustment icon and you can pick exposure, curves, or levels. I'll select the curves since it gives the most controls. Now if I drag it down, then the photo becomes darker but it also adds a lot of contrast. At the same time, the color changes. To fix it, we can change the blend mode to luminosity. Now it won't affect the color. Obviously we don't want it all over the place. With the foreground color black selected, press alter option and backspace to fill it with black. We know in mask, black hides and white shows. Since we already have shadows in the face, so we will try to match it first in a small area. This is just for matching purpose. We are gonna delete it later. Select the lasso tool and select some areas. Now change the foreground color to white and hold alter option and backspace to fill it with white. Now let's try to match it with the original shadows. We also need to add some feather to make it softer. In mask properties, increase the feather. Something like this will do. Now I will match the shadows. It will be a little less dark than the shadows from the left side. Also I can add some reds and yellows similar to the original shadow. After matching the shadow, we can delete this selected area. This is just for matching. With the foreground color black, press alter option and backspace to fill it with black. Now we will add the proper shadow. First we will use this hand to create the shadow. We are gonna copy this into the mask. As you know in mask, black hides and white shows. So right now is the opposite. We can invert it by pressing Ctrl command and I. You can also invert the mask after pasting it. Anyway, now press Ctrl command and A to select all. Now press Ctrl command and C to copy. Ctrl command and D to deselect. Now go back to the main photo. Hold alter option and click in the mask to go inside the mask. Press Ctrl command and V to paste it here. You can press Ctrl command and D to deselect. Now again hold alter option and click in the mask to come back to the original photo. Now we need to resize it. Press Ctrl command and T for free transform. You can resize it however you want. I'll go for something like this. You can always change the feather from the mask properties. I also want to show you this. This one is a colored photo. The last one was a black and white photo. So that was quite easy to use. In this type of colored photo, we need to follow one more extra step. This is a transparent photo. You don't actually need to have a background. We just need the shape in white. Or if it's black, then we can just invert it. There are a few ways to make it black or white. You can fill it with any color or you can use the layer style and color overlay. There are so many ways to do it. But in this case, let's do it with levels. Click the adjustment icon and select levels. Or you can press Ctrl command and L for levels. If you move the left slider to the right, then it will become black. If you move the right slider to the left, then it will turn to white. Here we want it to be white. So move the right slider to the left. I think there are some glitches. You can see some yellow colors here. That shouldn't be here. These are some Photoshop glitches. Even if I make another level, it is still won't go away. It shouldn't be any problem though. But if you face this problem, let me quickly show you how to fix it. I'll undo it by pressing Ctrl command and Z. We can first make it totally black and then invert it by pressing Ctrl command and I. This makes those glitches go away. Now like before, press Ctrl command and A to select all. Ctrl command and C to copy. Ctrl command and D to deselect. Now go back to our main image. I will make a copy to this curve so that we can compare later. Press Ctrl command and D to duplicate the curve adjustment layer. Now we need to remove the hand. With the foreground color black selected, hold alter option and press backspace to make it black. Now hold alter option and click in the mask to go inside the mask. Press Ctrl command and V to paste it. Now like before we will resize it by pressing Ctrl command and T. This is totally non-destructive. If you want to make the shadows darker, then you can always do that. And there you have it. So this is how you can realistically add shadows into your model. Hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new from it. Like, share and subscribe for more tutorials every week. Thanks for watching.